close your eyes, watch your breath. Give the mind a place to settle down. This is what we're here for. This is why we have the monastery, so people can train their minds. We're commemorating a John Swat's passing away today. When a John Swat set up the monastery, he said he wanted this to be a place where everybody could come and practice. And in the Thai expression, he said he wanted everybody from every nation and every language to be able to come and practice. We don't have every nation or every language, but we have a lot. And shows how broad his compassion was. It wasn't just for Thai people or American people or any particular group of people. It was for everybody. So we should take advantage of that kind of compassion. It's hard to find it th these days, some of that kind of a broad heart. But we should develop a broad heart ourselves, thinking about the goodness of all beings, and create a place that it, all beings can, can come and find refuge, come and train themselves. There was one point where up at Wat Pu they were running out of money. They came to complain to him, and he said, Look, really, I don't care. What I care about is are the monks practicing, are the lay people practicing. That's what's important. So this is the moment where the important things are happening as you're training your mind. If the mind's wandering off, you bring it back. It wanders off again, bring it back again. That's what training means, is you teach it new habits. Because we live in a world where people have lots of really bad habits. And so we need to set a good example. We've got the good example of Lumpu Sawat, all of his teachers, and all the, way, all the way going back to the Buddha, all the noble ones, all the noble disciples of the Buddha, the Buddha himself. They set a good example for the world. We take them as our refuge, not in the sense that they're going to come down and save us, but in the sense that they show us this is how true happiness is found. A happiness that doesn't harm anybody, doesn't harm you, doesn't harm other people. It's found right here as you get the mind trained. Because the mind is the big troublemaker in the earth. I mean, there are natural disasters that happen, but, but most of the trouble we see is that not caused by untrained human minds. So let's do our part here to make sure that at least our minds are trained so we're not contributing to the general mess that there is outside. We're actually helping to clean up our corner, the corner that we're responsible for. And we show other people then clean up theirs regardless of their, where they're from, regardless of what they look like, regardless of their language. We all have hearts. When I was staying with the John Fuang, someone noticed one day that he had a Western disciple. And he was saying, gee, it's strange that a Westerner would want to ordain. And the John Fuang's re reply was, don't Westerners have hearts? We all have hearts. We all have su suffering. We all want to find a way out. And so we should have compassion for everybody who wants to find a way out and do our best to, at the very least, provide a good example. We have the teachings of the Buddha. We have the teachings of all his noble disciples. And as Lumbu used to say, the teachings are there. Your conviction is there. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and practice right now.